Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Today we are going to talk about a country maybe you do not know much about, uh, but it's mentioned in the Bible. Uh, that country is Lebanon. Uh, two days ago, the Muslims, the beautiful Muslims, the peaceful uh, Islam strike a town in Lebanon. It's called uh, Al Biqa'. Now. Uh, Christians in Lebanon they are the one who own the country and this is supposedly it used to be 100% Christian country and then during the Ottoman Empire occupation they force Muslims which means they did not force the Muslims they forced the Christians to accept Muslims to live there which is not even their land and by time due to the increase of population of Muslims very fast because they married four wives, as you know, they became almost <coughs> almost more than 50% of the population. And additional to that, due to the massacres the Turkish they did against the Lebanese Christians and the Muslims in general, uh, which means the Muslims and the Turkish, they are partner of all those massacres. A lot of a Christian Lebanese, they immigrate. To the point right now, there is 24 million Christian immigrant out of Lebanon, when there is total population of Lebanon is not even 6 million. So you can see that the total number of immigrant is a lot more than the total population of the country itself. Now, Lebanon is a very, very beautiful country, and Lebanese people are very smart, intelligent people. However, if you go to any area occupied by Muslims, you will feel like you are going in the cave time. The second you enter a Christian territory, you feel you are even better than Europe. And I'm showing you right now some of the photos of mountains areas in Lebanon. Uh, as you see, it's very beautiful, and people there, they are not, uh, you know, this is, this is the land of civilization, let us say this, this is the land of the Aramaic, Syria and Lebanon, those are the first, and let us say, uh, the first people ever in the history who come with the alphabet long before anyone else. Like we say, the Chinese civilization is very old but those people are the mother of civilization to the point even many names you use every day it is their language as an example when you pray you say Amin this is an Aramaic word as an example the word Europe this is an Aramaic word Africa even when you say the word sin this is an Aramaic word so what happened yesterday <coughs> or two days before, uh, I don't want to say a Muslim terrorist, I want to say a Muslim, because every Muslim, obviously, he practice Islam, he is a possible terrorist. Now people, they want to agree, they don't want to agree. I'm not James White, this guy who is a false teacher, who try to put spice, and try to make things, uh, like add some makeup for things. All of them, they believe in the same religion, and the same religion is the only motivation for them to kill others who they are not Muslims, even those who call themselves Muslims. Because as you know in Islam, if you do not do one of the things Muhammad order, they consider you an apostate. As an example, if you don't pray, 
you are an apostate. If you don't pay zakat, you are an apostate, etc. Uh, and this is what so, uh, some people, some idiot, <coughs> they, they don't want to understand. They say to you that ISIS are killing more Muslims from Christians. But what they will not explain to you that this is the true Islam. You are not a Muslim unless you practice Islam. If you stop a practice in Islam, obviously you are not a Muslim. And this is what Muhammad did in his lifetime, and this is what Abu Bakr did. Have you ever heard about Harub al Ridda, which means the, the war of apostate? Those people did not even announce that they are not Muslims. They stopped paying the zakat, that's all. And for sure, it's a step forward to leave Islam. Muhammad, he just died yesterday. They said to themselves, you know what? This filthy man, he is dead. We are free. So they decide to stop paying the zakat. And the second you stop paying the zakat, you are an apostate and they are allowed to kill you. And this is something you need to understand. So when they say to you, Islam condemn ISIS because ISIS are killing Muslims more than they're killing Christians, this is a big fat lie. Those are not Muslims, they are killing them. A person who don't practice Islam for Islam is not a Muslim, as simple as that. This is the rules of Islam. So those are apostate, these, those are not Muslims, even if their names is Muhammad or Ali or so what? Actually, those names have nothing to do with Islam. Those names are exist before Islam is exist. Those are Arabic names, and it doesn't matter who call himself with them. But some idiot, they swim with the propaganda of Muslims. Now we go back to what happened in the city of al -Qa'a. The city of al -Qa'a <clears throat> is a close to the area where it is, it's a valley, it's not a mountain, like Lebanon have two, uh, two sides of it, a side where it is mountains, and uh, those areas mostly it's occupied by the Christians, as you see, and they are very well armed and very strong, and there is some areas which is in the valley, and always when you live in the valley, you are an easy target for they can take over you and you know your defense is really not good the, being in the mountain will give you control <clears throat> and this is why the Christians actually through centuries in Syria or in Lebanon they always seek refuge to the mountains because this is the only place they can defend themselves otherwise in the valley they can be slaughtered so what happened a Muslim beloved Muslim as James White called them a good Muslim, as uh, uh, Obama called them, a beautiful Muslim <clears throat> from the great religion of Islam, uh, as George Bush uh, called them. He tried to get a close to a church, and then one of the Christians there he noticed that this guy is in the in the yard, and the, he don't he don't look like Christian. You know, to, just to make it simple for you, if you are from there, you will know right away if someone look like Christian or not. How? It's hard to explain to you. So he asked him, what are you doing there? And he noticed that he have something with him. You know, he's hiding something under his, uh, his jacket. So it was something suspicious. So he went inside to grab his gun. And right away, the Muslim, he exploded himself. Causing that person not to be killed, but to be injured. Now there is a plan. It's not over yet. Then a group of Christians who they are in the neighborhood, they run to see what's happening next to the church. So when they gather, another Muslim, he get a close between them and he explodes himself. So now we have more people get killed. Now this is not over yet. Police came, the, the, the emergency cars came, hospitals cars, doctors. A lot of people, they are there, and the third person, he came in and exposed himself. Now, it's not over yet. Second day, there's a funeral. People are going to the church. The Muslim Abdul, they send one of their Abdul, and he exposed himself in the funeral. So, four suicide bombers in two days. And for what? You know, they try to justify for you those Muslims. They say Islam Islam is against killing of innocent people. Those people, they are not fighting anyone. They are living in their town, doing their business, living their life. They have nothing to do with anything. And they are not involved in any war with anyone. 
They will say to you the Quran says killing Islam say the Quran says if you kill one mankind uh, one man as if you killed all mankind the fact this verse is speaking about if you kill a Muslim but Muslims they know that you are ignorant in the religion so you have no idea what they are talking about so you will believe it because it looked like it first of all this verse was said to Musa not to the Muslims according to the Quran number two the honest person is anyone he is protected by Allah Anyone he is not protected by Allah is not innocent, he is guilty. The second you don't believe in Allah and his religion and his prophet, you are guilty and you are no one. The Quran call you najis, which means filthy. The Quran call you uh, 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 all kind of names, pigs, monkeys, you name it, just because you decide not to believe in Allah. Therefore, you are a very legitimate target for Allah and his army. And the army of Allah simply is the beautiful Abduls and the beautiful Abduls you know they are willing to die in order to get the virgins who they are waiting for them horny and naked and so crazy so uh, this is what happening in the month of Ramadan and as you know the month of Ramadan is a very beautiful month my brothers and sisters and this is the month where everybody get killed sacrificing the blood of a human being for the sake of Allah so this God thirsty blood sucker Dracula he might be satisfied but obviously this false God will not be satisfied until mankind they slaughter each other to the last one of them because of the existence of this filthy disgusting cult it's called Islam they dare to defend it But the fact of the matter is that when someone asks the question, is ISIS Islamic? If anyone answers either yes or no without making necessary distinctions, both are not telling the truth. After all what's happening, and they try to say to you that there is a good Muslim and there is a bad Muslim, my friend, Islam is one kind and those who follow the Quran are the same Muslims. The bad Muslim, according to James White, and the good Muslims, according to James White, both they believe in a book. It says, fight those who don't believe in Allah in the last days and don't believe in Islam, the religion of the truth from the Christians and the Jews. There is nothing called a new Quran for the good Muslim and old Quran for the bad Muslims. This is the same Quran and both of them they read the same verse and both of them they recite the same verse and the Quran there is tons of verses saying kill the Christians, kill the Jews, kill the infidels, kill, the, kill those who don't believe in Allah. And yet there is an idiot will say to you there is a good Islam and there is a good Muslims. Be aware of the false teachers and actually those people they make me more upset from the Muslim themselves because those are the enemy within us inside our churches deceiving your children fooling them lying to them and saying to you there is a good Islam which is nothing but a deception and remember the Bible says whoever denied the son and the father he is nothing but an antichrist so how dare someone he claimed to be a Christian not to say directly and clearly that it doesn't matter what Islam you believe in there's one Islam and this is the Antichrist as the Bible says so we pray for those who mur murdered in Lebanon and for those Christians around the world who they are persecuted by Muslims around the world and we pray that God may punish those who defend Islam for they are more criminals than those who they slaughter. For they are partners in covering the crimes of this religion. Protecting, defending by false teaching, by false witnessing. The teaching of the cult, of the hate, of the disgusting religion of Islam. God bless and don't forget to subscribe 
and share and be part of what we do if you like to do so. Thank you. The conservative militaristic Christian who says, yes, that is Islam as a whole is lying. Is lying. Using in order to justify what they do. Are they Muslims? Yes. They believe what they're doing goes back to Islam and to Muhammad. And I would say that they're right. Is lying.